Harvey should fall apart before ever reaching North Carolina, though. But that doesn't mean we won't be impacted by the storm. Consumer reporter Steve Sprasia is live tonight in Raleigh to show us what's the deal with Harvey and gas prices. Steve. Well, gas stations like this are thousands of miles away from Texas, yet they have a direct connection to what's happening there. What's the deal with that? Well, before the gas can ever come out of this nozzle, it has to get here, and it gets here from a pipeline from Houston. And if the gas doesn't go into that pipeline, gas doesn't come out over here. How much driving do you do? A lot. Yeah, I have. I mean, I drive myself and my sister to school, and then I have after school stuff usually every single day. As Harvey bears down on one of the country's major drilling and refinery areas, we have to keep an eye on our gasoline supply. Whether or not we get uh, fuel rationing or any fuel disruption is going to be contingent again on what happens in Houston. That's because Houston refineries feed the Colonial Pipeline, which in turn delivers most of the area's gasoline. If there's a lot of damage and long lasting damage, that that's going to have a very large impact on gas prices moving forward. We have lived through this before. You might recall back in September and November of 2016, the Colonial Pipeline gasoline flow was disrupted. Prices skyrocketed and stations ran out of fuel. There were a lot of lines and some people weren't so fortunate to get the gas because, you know, it was out and it was hard to find. I did some digging and found that gasoline prices have already risen nearly a dime since yesterday as some refineries in Corpus Christi shut down. We haven't had an increase on our pumps yet um, as far as passing along to the customers, but that will definitely be expected the beginning of the week. Some drivers are already planning ahead. Try to conserve and check Facebook and the news um, to see where the stations are that have gas. And experts remind us we have a lot of control over how high prices may go and how bad the shortage may be. Buy only what you need. If you're filling your tank, buy a few gallons at a time. If everybody does that, not only does that help alleviate supply issues, but it will keep prices lower in the long run. Now, this is a situation that's going to develop over the weekend as the hurricane rolls through Texas. By Monday, we should have a better idea of the impact here in North Carolina. So stay tuned and keep advised. I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS North Carolina, and that is the deal.